I'm a Sydney boy, born and bred, uh, grew up on the northern beaches. Uh, after law school I moved over to New York. I was working in strategy consulting uh, for a large sporting organisation or a large media organisation uh, within the sports context. I moved home to be closer to family um, and the beautiful weather. Uh, upon returning I almost fell into recruitment really, um, ended up moving into a large international recruitment company uh, and then got the chance to meet Kevin, the managing partner of Summer Consultants and we were quite aligned with respect to you know, our views on uh, recruitment and how it can be done and how it can be done better. Um, and so that's how I made the move into Sonder. I didn't grow up wanting to be a recruiter. I never thought I was going to move into recruitment. It's something that I more or less fell into. I moved home from New York and um, went in for an interview with a recruiter who pitched recruitment. Um, at the end of that interview, I had a lot of friends uh, in New York that were recruiters. They were energised, they loved their jobs, um, they loved the challenge, they loved how dynamic the role was. Um, so I thought I'd give it a go. Yeah, look, I think good recruiters, and your best getting this sort of um, feedback from candidates and clients themselves, but I think on a candidate side, a good recruiter will make themselves known, um, try to connect with a candidate on a personal level, um, try to get to know who they are and what they're looking for from a professional standpoint but also a personal standpoint. So if it is a candidate that is looking to explore another city or another country, you know, why are they looking to do so and is that driven purely by professional motivations or is there a personal element to, to that as well? Um, so it's taking the time to get to know them, whether that's over the phone or whether it's over coffees, multiple phone calls, multiple coffees, whatever it is. I think the best recruiters know their candidates and they more or less become friends with the people that they're working with. Um, on the client side, again, it's quite similar. It's getting to know um, the culture of a firm and how that differs from a culture of another firm, or it might be a culture group to group. You know what. What do the partners in this uh, group like versus what do the partners in this group uh, like? And trying to make sure that when you are following up and catching up with clients, you're providing them with relevant information, you're providing them with relevant talent, um, and then you're following up to see how those candidates are going down the track. Look, I think ex exclusivity um, is always a tough one but from my perspective working with a candidate exclusive sorry working with a recruitment consultant exclusively um, can bring a lot of benefits firstly if you're working with a candidate and you know that you know you're the only one that has their CV you're the only one that they're working with just by nature you're going to put more more and more time into that candidate um, you know it's not a case of saying to this candidate you can never work with another recruiter but it's a case of, look, this is a two-way street. If you're out there working with 12 other recruiters uh, and they've already put you into a, a large number of jobs, it makes it difficult to justify putting a lot of time and effort into that candidate. Um, of course, you know, the number one thing is finding the right role for a candidate, but if we know that we're working with someone exclusively, it's always going to be a case of we're going to dedicate more time to that person. A move overseas to a, a larger market like a New York or like a London, uh, it's going to challenge you and with that challenge you're going to better yourself professionally and personally. I know for myself New York was you know, some of the best years of my life, it was also some of the most challenging. I made some of the best friends that I'll have in my whole life, some of the most talented and hard working um, and loving people um, you'll ever meet. So uh, from my perspective uh, working in New York was, was truly beneficial from a professional and a personal standpoint.